two rounds of rain showers on the way. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci, and notice how I said rain, not snow. It has been warm all across South Jersey, and that will carry over into this weekend. Let's take a look at our January in review. Atlantic City International Airport has seen 94% of its years in its history colder than the January that we have seen this past year here in 2020. Philadelphia is about the same. So is Millville and Atlantic City Marina. Now we turn to snow. We look at our seasonal snowfall totals, less than an inch everywhere. If you're a snow lover, not good. If you're a snow hater, you're loving this right now. And we have been 5.7 inches below average for the month of January. And we're going to stay 5.7 inches below average after we finish off the day today, which has not seen any snow. We'll see a couple of rain showers as we go into this evening here. Rain starts between 8 to 10 p.m. It's not going to be everywhere. It's going to be scattered and generally light. Heaviest rain will be along the shore and we'll start to spread inland as we go to 1 a.m. and then 4 a.m. But even still, if you're in places like Bridgeton or Hamilton, you're only going to see a spotty shower and there is an outside chance to even stay dry all night long. Our coastal storm is well offshore. Any rain showers end by 6 to 8 a.m. Still could be a shower possible throughout the day. It does actually look like our best chance of widespread rain is going to come during the overnight hours. Between 10 to 4 p.m., rain showers will come through. And if maybe we get some of this cold air that's to our west to filter in in time, we see a couple of wet snowflakes early on Sunday morning. Good news is with this coastal system, we are not going to see any coastal flooding from this. Water levels are staying well below minor flood stage at Cape May and all across the region. Our evening forecast shows temperatures falling slowly through the 40s. That's because of the cloud cover that we have. We'll see a couple of rain showers after 8 to 10 p.m. on a northeasterly wind. Wettest areas will be in Cape May County, 37 for our low on the mainland. That is about 12 degrees above average. We go into Saturday. Maybe a shower during the early morning for some of you. Otherwise, we are dry throughout the day. Rain comes during the evening. Daytime planner. I think we are looking good for pretty much everything. Maybe not the nicest looking day with the clown cover, but overall, I think we are going to be all right, especially if you do anything during the afternoon. Let's take a look at our Sunday. It's going to be a pretty super Sunday for us. Temperatures just around 50 degrees everywhere. A mild day, no problems traveling to or from your big game parties. We have a little bit of a breeze from the north and west. Now, as we go into next week, we will be cooking here. 20 degrees above average for Salem, 20 in Vineland, 20 in Hamilton, 13 in Atlantic City. And as we go into Tuesday, just about a dozen degrees above average. Now, our average high temperatures this time of year are in the low 40s. So if you do the math, we're going to be in the mid 50s to even low 60s throughout Monday and Tuesday. And I think we continue those 50s as we go into next week as well. Look at Monday, 62 on the mainland, just going to be shy of our record. But as we go into the middle and later part of next week, there will be multiple storm systems riding along a front. Looks to bring multiple rounds of rain. We will keep you posted. There is an outside chance an outside chance that we see some kind of snow Friday into Saturday. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. We will be back with you on Monday with videos. However, you can always follow me on social media for updates throughout the weekend, Facebook and Instagram at JoeMartWX, Twitter at ACPressMartucci, or thepressofac.com slash weather.